What is up guys? Welcome to another day in the vlog. For today's video, we are just finishing up putting in our last suspension piece right here. Long story short, we accidentally stripped it in there last night, so I got a tap and die kit, tapped that out, got a new bolt, and then I did a fun fact because, you know, every, like, artist, if you will, of, like, different cars, like, kind of have their signature part on the car. I actually imprinted my thumb on the top of that screw. Sweet! We just put on that thing right there. We used a little bit of our thread locker red on that as well to prevent it because we did tap it. We want to make sure it stays in there for a long time. Next thing we are going to do is we need to lift the front end and put some tires on the front. Let's get it going, though. Okay, next, unthread these nut or these bolts. Now we loosen this up a tad. I think that this is a little too tight. A little too tight still. So the idea is that you want to hear light rubbing. That seems good. So you want it to lightly rub on it. So now that this tire is on, let's do the other side. That one's already good. So we don't have to touch this side. This is a historic moment. This is the first time this frame will fully be on the ground since I took it apart. That is so cool. That looks so good. Checking out suspension. Wow. It's pretty stiff in the front, but in the rear, it's got some nice spring to it at least. Woo! That looks good. What do you think? Hey, we got the tires on. And the suspension. Nice. What Looks was, more like a car. Yeah. What were you, what was it um, that you were able to get on? How were you able to get the suspension on? That bolt strips, so I had to tap it. Oh, okay. What is tapping mean? Um, re-threading the bolt hole. The bolt hole? So picture just a nut is like, is in the frame. Nice. And then you, when you tap it, you have to like cut the threads into it so that was the right good that? So, uh you get a nice like it's a it's a tapping kit you put it in and it's basically like a screw but like with four grooves that's meant for cutting so put some cutting oil on it and you do like one forward two back one forward two back or like two forward one back and so you just keep going until it gets all that junk that it's shaving off into the grooves and then you re-thread it like three times with that thing put a bolt in there three or four times to make sure that it's all threads are clean and what I do is I use thread locker red oh. which basically means like it won't come out unless you blow torch it well yeah that's why I put it on now it's like you know it's suspension so this is the reason why I have to do this one is now it's 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 resistant against heat vibrations the thing we want to do is we want to just get this hard line loosely set in for the brakes this is still not mounted, so that just slides on out. With that puppy right there. Next, what we want to do is we want to take the brake line, which this is going to go to this master cylinder, the brake cylinder, master cylinder a second. So that needs to go through there. First, though, we need to untangle that puppy. That kind of sits in there. And then this is going to bend that's not a set yet so I can put that under still next thing we need to do is make sure we have this all situated which means this needs to go underneath that which means I need to undo what I already did real quick slip that under we should be good to go okay next just slip this puppy on in okay Let's just thread this puppy on in now. Awesome. Next thing we need is we need our brake controller and our master cylinder, but before that we need our pedals so that we have our bracket. So before that, we need to make sure it's painted. So let's go get that all painted real quick. 
Okay, the next thing we have to do is just assemble all of these. Not too, too difficult at all. Let's just get our washer with that. Go nice and solid through. Then on the bottom, we're going to add our other washers with lock washers on it. Nice thing about this is that what's going to actually end up happening is the end two. I'm not going to torque down because those are going to go in through the metal on the frame. So when we need to install the seats, it'll be super easy for us to do that. I think I found the screw hole pattern. Uh, wish me luck that this is actually it. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. We just got so much done on this thing. This thing looks beautiful. This is a transformed machine. Look at that thing. I just put in the steering wheel. I'm so, I'm sorry. It was super easy. It was just slipping it through. I know, don't hate me. Okay, everything looks super good though. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to continue to watch this build process. There's nothing left to say. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next one. And I guess it's time to end it. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about. Telling me I should do this, 